Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am going to be doing a paint tutorial, but not of my own. I'm going to be following um, a YouTuber's t uh, paint tutorial and challenges that have been going around lately. I'm pretty sure you've seen them. So it goes, I followed so-and-so's tutorial. Um, so I'm going to be doing uh, Katie Jobeline's art tutorial on the sunset, the acrylic sunset blending techniques. So I'm going to be following her through and through her tutorial and listening to her, seeing her do it and seeing if I can actually keep up and how close it turns out to her. Um, I think it'll be pretty fun. We'll see how the end result turns out. So while I'm painting, I'm going to be putting the little square here to show what exactly is from her video. I'm not going to be showing the, the entire video. If you want to see the entire video, I will link in below. It is, I like the way she does her tutorials. She shows us how to do it. Like I said, we're going to see if I'm able to keep up and how it turns out. Brand new tutorial. So today we are going to be recreating this acrylic painting, which is of a beautiful sunset. So I'm going to start with a fairly wide brush. So I got my white brush. brush. I'd say I'm going to pop everything in the description box if you want to check exactly what model that is. So let's get started in popping in the background. I'm going to start at the top, give your brush a little bit of a rinse. I'm going to take some yellow ochre. I'm going to add in just a tiny little bit of black. I'm just going to pop that in the background. A little bit of a So yellow ochre. So I have a wider brush, so I might might be a little bit too fast. You probably want to take that to about halfway. So about that point, you want to just keep on taking that down. Sort of halfway in between that, and just add a little bit of water again if it's easier to spread. So again, in this mixture, just to be clarify, we've got vermilion, yellow ochre, and a tiny bit of black. So dull those colours a bit, a little bit. She said to repeat this. It looks pretty dry already, if not wet to the touch. I was light on the paint. Um, so I'm just gonna repeat everything.
so she's holding it. She's just putting it here. I'm just going to take my brush and sort of like at a 90 degree angle. I'm just going to sort of scuffle it along the canvas. I'm not really used to doing um, loose paintings, so it's a little different for me. And as you scuffle it, you can see that these little tiny more suggestions, um, it's not necessarily blended, but it's not like a hard sort of line either. And obviously clouds aren't hard lines, they're very, clouds are actually very, very difficult to get right. Highlights. This is the finished. Uh, uh, finished. I'm just gonna undo these. isn't that bad let me give you a closer look okay guys so that is the tutorial i ended up finishing it and this is the way it came out tell me i'm put it side by side did it come out good did it i don't know this is pretty dang good for it's not exactly like i've never seen the reference picture and I've never really done a like, um, how do I say this? A loose painting before, and I actually really enjoyed it. Um, it is pretty cool. My colors weren't exactly the same tubes as her, but it was close enough for me to get the colors and the whole idea of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, I will be leaving a link below to Kate 
I hope you're saying your name, your last name right, Jobeline. Jobeline. Um, her, every, her tutorial I'll leave below um, so that way you can follow it and try it yourself. I actually really enjoyed it. And if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos like this. And you guys have a great day and see you later.